All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here, and dude, adults shouldn't be dating children. Except pedos don't desire to date children. If anything, they desire mutually enjoyed relationships with them. I really want to know how an adult and child are supposed to have a mutually enjoyed relationship. Because in a relationship, each party brings something to the table, right? That's just the fundamentals of how a relationship works. And the adult, well, let's see, they're going to be going to work. They're going to be bringing home money, paying the bills, you know, right? They're going to be doing all that stuff. What is the child going to bring home? homework to slap on the dinner table while they're trying to figure out their times table? I have no idea what a child is supposed to bring in comparison to an adult. It just blows my mind that people think like this, man, because when I think of a child, when I think of children, I think of younger than 13, but older than five years old. All of those years are spent in elementary schools, right? So you're trying to tell me that an elementary schooler is not only emotionally developed enough to handle and resolve emotional situations to an adult level at that age, but are also able to bring something to the table, whether it be money or food or taking care of kids any of the above they're able to do any of that at that age i'm sorry but i just don't believe you i think you're lying to yourself and also the mental gymnastics these people go through to justify their arguments are just insane to me because i remember i made a video one time and some dude commented something along the lines of well actually in england during the 1800s age consent was 12 years old hold on man dial it back 1800s england are you serious if you really want to live your life like you're in the 1800s i want to see you not using a phone or computer to comment on a youtube video but rather writing someone a letter using a feather and ink and also, not to mention, your freezer that you have all your meat in right now, gotta get rid of that too, man. You gotta get an ice box that's constantly on the verge of unthawing if you forget to change the ice out every two hours. Like, that doesn't sound like a very pleasant life to me, man. So I don't know if you really want to stick around in that time period for too long. It just blows my mind how so many people seem to forget that as technology, humanity, and most importantly, morality grows and changes over time, certain ideas and practices are left in the past for very good reason. So if you're gonna try and bring that back, you gotta ask yourself, hmm, why would this left in the past to begin with and very quickly you'll reach your answer it was foolish and no longer needed to be done plain and simple that's all it boils down to and that's why it was left in the past people already reached that conclusion 200 years ago man it's also just the fact that this guy straight up denies that child rape exists that blows my mind because if pedos did not desire to rape children then the concept of child rape, the term child rape would not exist what i just said would not be a term there would also be absolutely no reported cases of children rape at all throughout human history so it just blows my mind how deluded you would have to be to reach that line of thinking that it doesn't exist because man I need to remind you any form of sexual contact between an adult and a child is child rape there's no if ands or buts no gray area straight up black and white either you're a child rapist or you're not a child rapist that's the only two sides that you can be on but uh yeah i'm going to call it here Dude, there's no such thing as a mutually enjoyed relationship between children and adults. It is an adult manipulating and taking advantage of a child to get what they want in their sick fantasies. And you should at all in no means be defending that. It's absolutely disgusting and irredeemable. But uh, yeah, that's about it. It's been Sick Shot, guys. Later.